Hi everyone, today we are going to be uh, going back into some GMix shorts. Uh, this will be a pretty short one. Today we're only doing uh, a couple effects. We're going to be messing with the cubism and the cutout effect. And that is pretty much it for this one. I do apologize that I haven't got around to um, GMix tutorials as uh, some of you may know. I guess this third video I mentioned it, but I was uh, been super sick and and uh, super busy. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and go to file, and then I'm gonna open up my, the file that I'm gonna use. Um, this is a early stage uh, model. Um, she's gonna be half realistic. Um, and half cartoonish uh, and she is made in 3d so I was just uh, messing around uh, today with her a little bit more and um, I'm working on her eyebrows right now and her hair and stuff like I said by no means is this a final stage or a final product um, so anyways so we're gonna go ahead and go up into filters and then gmic and we're going to go ahead and click on the cubism. Uh, I think the last GMIC tutorial I did was the the circle abstraction color pencils and color abstraction paint, I believe. If I skip this one, I do apologize. I will come back to it if I did. Um, all right, so on cubism, let's go ahead and reset these settings. You got your iterations, your density, your thickness, your angle, opacity, and smoothness. Um, by no means am I, am I an expert on what all these mean. Um, but the, the iterations, basically, if we bump this up to, say, 6, you will see that it significantly chopped this fo photo up more. So basically, all the iterations mean is more cubes in the image so what this is doing is it's taking cubes um, let me go ahead and close this out and show an example of what that's doing so this is just taking cubes and let's use uh, some kind of red color and what is up with that brush huh there is something up with my brush, big brushes, big time. Oh, <laughs> what is up with this? Anyways, so I'll just do it like this. So basically, we'll draw out a cube and then we will go ahead and grab our paint bucket fill tool. So basically, you got your cube here and then if I go and I make another one, say right here, and we fill that in, basically all it is is a bunch of cubes, and it's taking your image, and it's computing a bunch of uh, different code and whatever the, the back source of that is, and it is turning it into this so it's just basically distorting your image with cubes and this is what we want so the more iterations the more cubes the more you get distorts so I'm gonna stick with six on here the density we can raise up let's say all the way to 91 and you could tell that um, they become more dense in areas and they're more compacted around in this area so the more denser you got that means the more squares you will have in a little area so I don't remember what I used for this let's try 60 and see if I like that let's just go back to 50 not right we'll leave it right there then your thickness, I'll raise this up to, let's say, like 18. And the thickness, basically, what I think it means, anyways, is uh, 
the thickness of of it's kind of like the density but the thickness of where the um the cubes are gathered uh if you could understand <laughs> if you could understand what that means so if you got um you know this thickness from here to here uh and there will be a bunch of little cubes in here so if we raise the thickness from say the top of this window to the top of this uh right here um of course you got your density which means the more in one little area but the thickness means uh basically how far apart they are are spread <laughs> i hope i'm explaining that uh good enough so we'll put this to 15 and then your angle of course angle that's a no brainer you got your 90 degree angle and then um you could go to 45 degrees if you want and it gives it that kind of effect I put mine on 120 degrees and so basically it's taking um, the angle on the image on how it's it's computing that and breaking it up and then you got your opacity of course so I put that down to one then you just see the image so if you bring it up just a little bit the more uh, the more the cubes are noticeable and I think I put this on no I didn't put it on one sorry so if I put it on one you'll see that there's not no more um, this like motion blur effect or a blur effect on them no more they're just solid and that don't look cool so we'll go to point seven five which is basically 75 percent opacity and then smoothness so if we go 0.25 on smoothness basically uh, smoothness here don't work like you think it it would you know you think it smooth out a line smoother and stuff like that um, and to be quite honest, uh, I'm not too sure on if it's the smoothness from the uh, the way the angles uh, of this filter works or what. So I'm not going to sit here and try to explain that. All I know is just experiment with that and find something that you like and I'm gonna leave this so on iterations I got six iterations the density is 50 thickness 15 angle 120 opacity 0.775 and smoothness at zero and you come over here to input output mode I have mine set to new layers so it will make a new layer and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply and let that do its business Alrighty, and the next one is cutout. Now, I really like this cutout. Uh, if you've seen on the internet, uh, there's some uh, people that make like them old school, them old school flyers. Like, uh, what game was that? Oh, I don't remember the game now. But there's like a fire uh, flyer. It had like, um, like a I don't know, an old war banner and the colors were red and black and stuff. Anyways, this is a pretty cool effect and it, I mean it's not too hard to do it by hand but if you have a filter that can do this for you, that is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and reset. So I got 818 and let's go ahead and reset them to normal. So if we put this down, it only lets you go to 2. So number of levels, I believe that is um, the number of levels of color in the image. I could be wrong. So I guess I should, uh, what, what have I been hearing people do uh, on a lot of uh, uh, tutorials nowadays? Oh yeah, disclaimers. 
I'm going to do a disclaimer. By no means am I an expert in GMIC and by no means do I know what the creators meant by these. I'm just telling you guys the way my brain works and how I think they work. But anyway, so the number of levels I believe is how many colors it uses and stuff in the image. So I just bumped it up to three. So now we've got black, white, and blue. Of course, the backgrounds. So if we go to six, now we're getting more colors. So now we got this kind of brown, this kind of grayish brown, then tan, then you got this darker blue, and then blue. Uh, so if we go up here to seven, we're getting seven different colors or seven different levels, which I'm going to say colors. And so I'm going to go to eight. And then edge simplicity. So if we take this down to zero, you're going to see that the edges are more harsher uh, and more stronger. And the more you bump this up, the more smoother and less lines you get. So if I keep on going, I don't know how high this would go. Three. You will see how much smoother the lines uh, get on here. I went one for this image. And then that way you kind of get an outline of her eye and stuff. Uh, if you go any lower, it, I was noticing that it was cutting out this eye and it was black. It just didn't look right. And so if we lower edge fidelity, that kind of, I'm not too sure. Uh, I guess I should have studied this a little bit more. But is I've noticed that it's kind of hard to find documentation on a lot of these things. So if anybody knows of documentation or where you can find them, let me know. I mean, besides GMIC website. Um, all right, so edge fidelity. So we put it all the way down to zero, and you notice they kind of got smoother, and there was less um, little blotches of colors in here. So if we keep on going up, you'll notice that it they change, and you get more color effects. And oops, I went the wrong way with it. So I, how high does this go? It goes up to ten. So we're going to ten here. And all the way up, you'll see that you get um, more sharper lines, but they kind of got a um, a dissolved effect towards the edges of the lines, which that's actually kind of a cool look. But I'm going to go with 8 here. And you kind of get these, uh, you're still getting some dissolved edges, but they're more harsher. And that's the kind of look that I want to go with this. So, and then you got your normalize. So if I uncheck that, you notice the uh, color became more dim. And you don't really see too much of a change, just more brightness. So, uh, Besides that, we're going to go ahead and hit apply because those are the settings that I want for this image. So these are the cubism and the cutout filters here in GMIC. I'm only doing two today because I want to keep this one kind of short. And I do uh, apologize for saying that I don't exactly know what a couple of these are. But I hope this kind of helped, uh, helped you explain a little bit of what they sort of kind of mean and um, and the whole point of these are yes to, to tell you uh, what I think they mean and what they mean to me and and but I also want to show you a sort of way which where you could use them because a lot of people uh, like well why do you have all these filters and you're never going to use them well uh, with artists they grow and change every day and if you're a true artist you will understand why we have all these filters but anyways so those are those two those are the only two that we're I'm gonna work on um, this dream smoothing is gonna be the next one I've noticed here lately that a lot of people have uh, been using this like crazy 
and you could see why. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. This filter takes a while, and plus uh, my computer slows it down a little bit when I'm running the screen recording program. So just give it a second. Okay, come on now. Hmm. So, now from this far away, that dream smoothing don't look good. But, uh, anyways, we'll get into that, and I will show you guys that next time. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and going to finish up showing you guys what I did with this. So I'm going to drop the cubism one down below, and then I got the head, and we are going to put this on screen. So if I turn off the top one, you'll see what that's doing. And it's exactly, wait, actually I put this one, wait, no, that's top one, yeah. Oh, and I put this one on multiply. Anyways, so we'll go to screen. And then uh, addition will work pretty well too if you want to make for a brighter brighter image. Um, I did put it on multiply because I wanted to take all the rest on the outside away and I only wanted it to leave it in on her face. So I will continue with that. And then we'll turn this one back on and I will put it on soft light. And I'm going to zoom in here and you can see that this kind of gave her a cool effect and it kind of it blends in really well so these are just a, a couple ways you could use this and then um, I could always go ahead and throw some dust particles in here and press in on your keyboard for the move tool and just kinda move them around here and just put them on screen and go ahead and right click go layer to image size right click add a layer mask and then grab your paintbrush tool and like I said for some reason I don't know why um, why that's being like that but I'll just go back and forth here on with black and kind of erase some of these off of her face And then I'll go up to filters and then go to blur, Gaussian blur. Hmm, even my preview's not working. Something's not right there. Five pixels. Oops. Control Z that, and we will just press Control F, Control F, Control F, Control F, and we will blur them quite a bit. I'll Control F one more time, and I'm just pressing Control F because Control F. Um, redoes the previous filter that you just did and then I will just turn around and I'll add a bouquet in here and then we will put this on screen and lower the opacity quite a bit until we get just a little bit right there and then I will control F actually I'm going to right click and I'm going to layer to image size now I'm going to control F again control F again control F again and that just blurs it and there you go so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I do apologize for some of the unprofessionalism about it but I will be back with another tutorial in the future please like and subscribe and have a great day